Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. And uh, we're actually not going to get into the Serrano fight, Cruz fight. Um, we're going to get into Richardson Hitson, but shout out to the ladies. That was one heck of a fight. I didn't think it was close. I thought Serrano won eight or nine rounds, but I know other people saw it much, much closer. Uh, but shout out to both of them. Um, before we get into today's show on how good and how Richardson Hitchens is the most underrated fighter in the sport of boxing. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, um, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Um, uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right. Yeah. Let, let, let's get into Richardson Hitchens, who is the most underrated guy in the sport of boxing, no one really keeps an eye on him. Um, he's not really a, a huge knockout artist, but he's got plenty of pop, right? Um, he looks sensational every single time he steps in the ring. He defeats one solid opponent after another. He just keeps beating undefeated guys and not beating them. I, I mean dismantling them, right? Um, go back. You, okay. Uh, John Bowser. Destroyed him. Dropped him twice. Won every round. They should have stopped the fight. He did stop Yamar Alamo, who beat Kendo Castaneda, um, and has a uh, who does uh, who, who does Alamo ha have a draw with? Um, hang on, real quick. I'll look it up. He has a draw with Antonio Moran and a win over Kendall Cass. Not a very controversial win, uh, but a win nonetheless. Um, and he's got a very controversial loss to Liam uh, Liam Aparo, an undefeated fighter. Hitchinson is destroying these guys. He destroyed Malik Hawkins, right? Won almost basically every round in that fight. Destroyed Arhanis Mendez. Won almost every single round in that fight. I know one of those just had it for Mendez, which was, that was interesting. But... Um, it destroyed Nicholas de la Bamba. Um, he, he destroys all these guys, one after another. Um, he's no longer with Mayweather Promotions. He's with the zone now with, with Matrim, Eddie Hearn. Um, there's nothing not to like about this guy. He's long and rangy. He's lightning fast. He's got a, he doesn't have one punch power, but he's got respectable power. And you see this because he hurts everyone he fights. He defeats one high level prospect, one undefeated prospect after another. And it's just time to get him a, a top 10 opponent, right? Because you can look at his resume. And he doesn't really have a top 10 resume. You can look at his resume and say, okay, Hawkins and Alamo and Blase, Blase. These guys aren't world beaters. Right now, if you put him in the room with Josh Taylor, he beat Josh Taylor. He's the most underrated. He outboxes Josh Taylor. All right. Josh Taylor's not longer than him. Right, he can't win from the outside. If he gets on the outside, if he tries to get on the inside, would Taylor does well on the inside, even though he's long and rangy, he's gonna get popped, he's gonna get hit. Right? Taylor's uh Hitchens is, is stronger, he's more powerful. Well, I don't know if he's more powerful, but he's stronger and he's faster. He's gonna beat him to the punch on the inside. He's way too fast for Arnold Barbosa. He's way too fast for uh, Jose Carlos Ramirez. He's just, this guy is so difficult to win rounds against because he can sit there. And outbox you with his speed and, and, and range from the outside. And if you try to get to the inside, he's got enough pop where he's gonna hurt you. Um he beat Tiafima, he'll beat Tiafima Lopez. You know, there, there are a couple of names I, I like. You know, obviously Regis Progre, I, I don't think anyone beats Regis Progre. You know, I, I think the next best guy in that division is uh Gary Antoine Russell. You know, they're not on the same side of the street anymore. But let's get this guy a real fight. I tell you right now, Richardson Hitchens beats Ryan Garcia at 140 pounds. 
If we can get him Jack Catterall, can we get him Sandor Martin? Who can who can we get Hitchens in with? I, I'd like to see him fight Timothy Lopez, but then you know, obviously that's a top rank guy. They're not gonna do that. Um You know, I wouldn't be a, a, opposed to him fighting Pro Gray. Let's make it. Let's make that fun. Yeah, you know, I'm on board with that. Let's make Pro Gray versus Hitch, uh, Richardson Hitch. I don't know. Look, I, I, I think Pro Gray, he just doesn't have the resume. But Pro Gray is as good as anyone in the sport. I really think that. Um, I thought he beat Josh Taylor. Um, it was a great fight. I I, I told Pro Gray before that fight. Pro Gray was at the Hooker Ramirez fight in, in Dallas. I said, don't go over there and fight him. You're not going to get a decision. Turns out I was right. Hitchinson versus Ramirez. You know, Ramirez isn't really into fighting anyone. Who can we get Hitchinson? I, I, I like the program fight. If he wins, he wins. If he loses, he loses. But he's going to be in that fight. Sandor Martin. You guys care if he beats Sandor Martin? Who else can he, can he fight at 140? That, that, would, that would intrigue you. Montana Love. I don't think they would do that. But he definitely beats Montana Love. He definitely beats Montana Love. Richardson Hitchens is, is a complete fighter. He's the perfect boxer who can be a boxer puncher. Um, he's a three-level fighter. He can fight on the inside. He's got a lot of pop in the right hand. You know, um, he, he kind of reminds me of when you saw Aristotle de Lara coming up, but right-handed, like a right-handed version of that. It's like, not that he fights exactly like Lara, but there's similarities to me where he'll stand in the pocket and fight you, right? But he'll make you miss without running, right? He'll stand in the pocket and make you miss. Right now, I think Richard Hitchens is the second best guy in that weight class. I think he's the second best guy behind Regis Progress. I think he beats Josh. Let's get him in the ring with Josh Taylor right now. Super Matias, he, he he beats guys like that. Sergey Lippin, yes, he'll beat Sergey Lippin, yes. Who can we get him in the ring with? He's a better prospect than Brandon Lee. Are they about the same age? Hitchens is 24, 25, and Lee's 23. Postal, would that do anything for him? You know, these, these are the kind of names I like to look at. Uh, but Richard Hitchens is ready right now. I, I, I think he'd beat Ramirez. I guess he beat Taylor. I think he beats everyone in that division outside of Regis program. I think he's that good. He's the most underrated fighter in the sport of boxing today. No one talks about Richard Hitchens. Mayweather didn't seem to want to promote him. You know, he went to uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, and I thought that was a great time. I, I did a scouting report on him. You can read my scouting report on him at 3dboxingblog.com. This guy is ready. Like, there's nothing about him that's not ready. He's a three-level fighter. He's fast. He's long. He's got enough pop. His, his skills are second to none. I, you know, he's a, from, he's a New York City kid, too. I don't quite understand why he's not a bigger deal than he is. But he's complete. Lindolfo Delgado, would you guys want to see that fight? You know, there are names for him to fight at 140. Oh, Harry Davies, you know, we're getting a little into the weeds now. Um, I, I want to see him against a high-level guy, you know, and 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 Sandar Martin and, and Jack Catterall are the names that are kind of shouting out at me. You know, uh, I know Catterall's going to fight Josh Taylor again. Hopefully, I think, maybe, possibly. Um, if, if that doesn't come to fruition, which I think it will, what what's out there for him? I'm not seeing the big name, right? Ramirez ain't going to fight him. So, you know, fight Pro Gray. Why not? Go fight Regis Pro Gray. Again, it's the only guy in the division I don't think he can beat, but he'll 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 show well for himself and he'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. You know, um I really would like to see if I teal the female Lopez. You know, obviously that's not gonna happen. Top right would never do that. Um so I like the pro grade fight. I, I I like the pro grade fight. But if Zepeda, would you guys be interested in him fighting Zepeda? That's an interesting fight.
Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts. I'm trying to think of any other names that he could fight at 140 that would be intriguing. The names I really want to see are Santa Martin, Catterall, Taylor. Those are it's the common names, but I I, I think all of them outside of of Regis Progray. If you look at the angles that Hitchens uses, right? He's not straight in. He uses range. He dictates range. He can club you with the right hand on the inside. You're not going to walk in the front door on him, right? And he's faster and more skilled than you on the outside. So he's not letting you get in there. And if you do, he's going to hit you with the right hand. He's ready right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, are you a Richard Hitchens believer? Richardson Hitchens truther like I am? I, I like that guy. I, I see complete fighter. Like I said, I see kind of like a right-handed version of Lada when Lada was coming up all those years ago. But leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, twice a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. It is February 4th, uh, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.